Hey guys, and welcome to It's Halloween Mischief. Uh, so today I decided that I was just going to show you some very basic corpsing. Um, I'm hoping that it stays light enough outside for me to be able to show you the whole thing. Uh, if not, then I might not be putting this up on Friday, but hopefully I will. Um, so I decided I'm just going to use, I have one of those bags of bones, so I'm just going to use this piece right here to kind of show you the process. Um, and it's going to be really quick. I uh, have this brown spray paint that I'm going to spray over it first and then just regular paper towels that I'm going to wipe it off before it dries. And that's just to give um, the bone uh, some dirty texture on it to make it look like it came out of the ground. And we want to do that before we put any of the saran wrap over the top of it, just so that if the saran wrap part melts, you have that brown, dirty texture underneath of it. So um, that's what we're going to do first. And I'm gonna set the camera down and see how I need to set it up so that you can see what I'm doing. All right, so first, I'm just going to spray the brown spray paint on the bone. And I'm going to grab my paper towel. I'm just going to wipe it off. And you want to do this before it starts to dry. And it's pretty warm outside, so I'm gonna have to work in it fast. But you'll see, this is the side that I did the paint on, and this is the side without it. So you can see how it has that uh, grimy look, like it came out of the ground. Um, and that's what we want to have on there, so. That. Spray this side of it. Right. Wipe it down. I'm not real concerned about how pretty it looks because we are going to be covering it up. Um, I would say. Okay, so, for our supplies, we just have a giant thing, basically a clean wrap. Uh, this stuff is industrial strength. I don't know if you need to have it industrial strength or not, but that's just what I had available to me, so that's what I got. And then I just have some scissors to cut that with. And I have a basic heat gun. I picked this up for $20 at Home Depot. And that one has two temperatures on it, which is good for when you're doing like the fine details on the large skeletons. Um, when they have their fingers and toes, you'll want to use the lower settings so you don't completely melt. Wrinkles are good to have in here. That gives it texture once uh, it's all set. We want texture. Texture is good. I'm just going to kind of press it down on here so it doesn't stay on before I use the heat gun. The heat gun will set it in place. Alright. So I'm just going to wrap 
it around. You can see I have lots of crinkles and wrinkles and there's a big black spider crawling on the ground. We have all the pieces all wrapped up. You can still see the brown paint on there through it. Use a heat gun. I'm going to put it on the high temperature. I'm keeping my hands out of it because I did not bring my gun out or my gloves out. So I'm just going to blow this all over it. You see it shrink up. This thing. see it shrink as it heats. Up. And basically just gauge it by uh, looking at it to see if you need to add more onto it or if it's good how it is. Try not to hold it in one place for too long because it will melt your bone because it is also made of plastic. But if you want to burn like little holes in it, in the plastic, the saran wrap, you just hold it there for a little bit longer than you do in other spots. really close up next to the bone here and then it causes all of these little uh, ridges and stuff like that that once you put the stain on top of it it's going to look like flesh um, this piece right here you can see I did a hole in it and then when I add the stain on here it'll add dimension and depth on here and then we'll also add some paint on all these extra pieces that are sticking up and that'll give it some more texture all of this. Alright, I'm just going to add a little bit more and I'll speed that part up, so no talking. <laughs> For wood stain, I have this red mahogany. This is the one that I used on the little skeleton that I had in one of my previous videos. I'm not 100% set on it. I think I'd probably want to get a stain with a lighter color. Um, but this is what I have right now, so it's what I'm going to use. I do think that the lighter colors will probably look better. Take some of that off of there. Let's 
see that it sticks on the parts that are sticking out and you want those spots to be darker because that helps give it texture and then um, we go back on it with uh, the acrylic paint it will have a darker base for it which gives it the texture that you're looking for because you want it to look like it's flesh that was on there the whole thing pulling out all the details on these spots that have it munched up and on this end down here you can see that brown that we put on first and we'll also be adding some coloring in here to help build that and make it look